as Peter Clark passes across to Tom Hannigan. Now Andy White, who's hugging this left touch line. Dixon makes a run down the line. White, I think, was looking for him, but has instead found Amos, who lets it run through his legs. I'm not sure whether it was more luck than judgment from Amos, and it nearly fell for Isaac Buckley Ricketts, but Williams was able to clear. And now Wisdom's got some work to do in front of Hall, and Hall's actually skipped round Andre Wisdom here. Wisdom's on his way back, tells Averton to stay in his goal. He's still going, Cole Hall pokes it back. Hannigan can only clear as far as Weeks, and it's in. Yellows failed to clear the lines there. And the loose ball fell for Declan Weeks on the edge, just inside the box, near the penalty spot, and he's drilled a low shot home. It's Chester 1, Warrington Town 0. Yeah. Weeks then looks to wriggle away from, Doug, from uh, Dixon. That looked like it struck a hand from Harris. Referee says no. And uh, Town can come away here with Williams. Williams now finds Buckley Ricketts. Chance of a uh, counter-attack for Town here. Buckley Ricketts will drive down the right-hand side. He's delaying his cross though, it finally goes to Amos! Oh, it's just wide from Josh Amos! Go back there, so at, at what point does the ball stop becoming a pass back, I guess? But yeah, I think you, you definitely have a case for an indirect free kick there. As Whitehouse hooks it round the corner for Hall and oh, no. Clark hesitated. Hall hits one left footed. Atherton saves. I thought he maybe over jumped that, uh, Dan Atherton. But, but they're looking really, really ruffled here by uh, Chester's play going forward. And when the midfielders aren't really giving them any sort of help, it's uh, a long and lonely shift as Amos flicks it on, looking for Duggan. Duggan now flicks it on, looking for Buckley Ricketts. That's brilliant. Buckley Ricketts, what a save by Stanway. And out of nothing there, Town comes so close to equalising. Fair challenge in midfield as Stanway goes long, but it's Jay Harris who can bring it down. Plays it into the feet of Boan Dixon. Dixon, try and turn away from Whitehouse. Good sharp turn from Dixon. Clips the ball across to Buckley Ricketts. He's in the box. Oh, his touch lets him down. Lovely pick out from Bo and Dixon. It's almost as if the yellow's back to the normal system are playing a bit more like we know that they can play. As Duggan has it, tight to the right touch line. Plays it into the feet of Buckley Ricketts. Amos runs off him. That's nice play by the yellows. Amos will run into the penalty area from the right-hand side. He'll shoot from a, an awkward angle. I think he was probably looking to get a touch on its way through. But it goes behind for a goal kick. But lovely. As, uh, he's only in his early 20s. There's uh, Atherton, another man only in his early 20s. Plays it out to Andre Wisdom. Who's under a bit of pressure here, Andre Wisdom. He's done really well to find Jay Harris. But Harris has given the ball away. And now Weeks and Chester have got a chance here. Weeks might shoot from the edge of the box. He does shoot. Oh, Atherton Good got save. down. Well, uh, it... Well, he got down, he had it covered definitely, but he's had to push it wide. But He yeah. was being marked anyway, whereas now they've got a bit of a chance to create something in the final third as Wisdom's too strong for Windsor. Plays it inside to Mitch Duggan. And goes all the way back to Peter Clark. And Chester just happy to sit in at the moment and watch the yellows with the ball in front of them. Here's Williams, plays it through the legs of Roberts. Plays a 1-2 with Booker Rick. It's now Williams who shoots from the edge of the box, but he just gets a bit under it, and it's a, a good yard or so over Stanway's crossbar. So it's a good foundation to have on. And, of course, Paul Carden's teams were very much like that, weren't they, when he was the Warrington Town manager? Very good defensively. I know Mark Beasley's uh, prioritised the attacking side a little bit more as Buckley Ricketts crosses from the right. It's a good delivery. Hannigan's still in there. And Hannigan shoots, but doesn't quite get hold of it. It's a foot in. Atherton decided not to pick that one up that time. Slices his clearance. Wisdom's appealing for offside. Like nothing's, down. nothing's given. And now Weeks has got into the box. He's ghosted away from Papula. Weeks dummies. It's saved by Atherton. Excellent Super save. save. He, just, uh, he is of not the usual build of a... Uh, of a left back shall we say Williams is Williams has not gone for a header there when it was a header all day here's Hall shoots just wide drags it right across the face of goal to get Town up the pitch here can they create one chance here as uh, balls at the feet of Peter Clark he clips it forward looking for Amos Amos chests it down here's Buckley Ricketts a little bit of room for him on the edge of the area Trying to twist out of a tackle, it finds Williams, oh, just wide, just wide from Sean Williams. He certainly caught that, and uh, it had Stanway scrambling away to his right-hand side, but not far wide, that from Sean Williams. Referee blows his whistle. Murray strikes it, it's a decent effort, and it's a fingertip save from Dan Atherton to tip it over the bar. And it's got his side of throwing. Well, it's got Tana throwing, but right in their own corner flag. 
Williams looks to hump it forward, it's charged down! And in! And it's Charlie Caton who finishes the game off! Everton tried to clear it, it's charged down by Caton, sits up lovely for the striker to roll it into the empty net, and that will do for Chester to complete a Boxing Day victory here. Chester 2, Warrington Town 0.